Just off Interstate 25, in the shadow of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, is Pecos National Historic Park. 25 miles northwest of Las Vegas, the park offers visitors the chance to embrace a thousand years of human history. The visitor center can supply you with trail maps and background information, helpful stuff, as the tour around these ruins is self-guided. In its heyday, Pecos was a thriving village of 2000. It was a farming community, a trading post, and home to an undefeated native military power. That all changed in 1540, when the Spanish settled into Mexico, intent on making Pecos Indians Catholic members of the Spanish Empire. Spanish culture was foreign to the Pecos, as was the idea of a Christian God. The Pecos resisted these changes, and the next hundred years were dominated by war and revolt. Finally, the two sides reconciled as partners in the emerging Spanish Pueblo community. But by then, war and divisions within the Pecos community had taken their toll. The Pueblo was now being attacked by surrounding native tribes. By 1800, disease, raids, and migration reduced the Pecos population to 300 people. The last survivors left the decaying Pueblo in 1838. Since then, the mighty ruins have attracted tourists and archaeologists alike. As visitors try to reconstruct, in their own minds, the former glory of what was once the richest and most powerful Pueblo in New Mexico. For those who visit today, there is plenty of RV parking, though camping is not allowed in the park. Admission is free, and the one and a quarter miles of wheelchair accessible trails are an easy walk. You should leave yourself about an hour to get through them. It's really not much time to let a thousand years pass you by.